So you're an independent artist and you're thinking about starting a rec label. Well, check this out. Just like all the new artists who get into the music game, I used to think that getting my music on a rec label was it. But it wasn't until I started releasing a lot of music on labels that I realized that I was able to perform way better on my own than if I was to give my music to a label by a lot. That got me thinking, why release on a label if I could do it myself? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys that exact thing. I'm gonna show you guys how to start a rec label, how to get your music to perform a lot better, and even if it makes sense to release your music on a label. What's up guys, it's Adrian and thanks for tuning in. I can't tell you guys how excited I am. Over the past few weeks, my channel has been growing a ton. So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below because every single week I release a new video on how to help new artists succeed in the music industry. So let's talk about labels for a bit. Why do they even exist? Well, labels handle PR, marketing, distribution, legal, and payout. So it's part of their role as a label to support the artists and help them go further in their career. But most labels don't have the resource to do this. So think of a label as an investor. They invest in an artist with the hopes of making their money back and some profit. So they can make their money back in many different ways. It could be through merch, ticket sales, shows, events, royalties, sync licensing, and so forth. However, the two most important factors for signing to a label would be their distribution and marketing power. If they do not have a strong distribution and marketing platform, then you can do it all on your own by yourself. So you don't really need them if they don't have this resource available already. Have you ever heard of a one hit wonder? Well, that's because when a label signs an artist, they're usually pushing the artist through their marketing and distribution channel. But when the label cuts that artist off, the artist no longer has access to this marketing and distribution. So they basically lose everything and they're no longer able to get the exposure that they need. So they turn out to be a one hit wonder. You don't want this to happen to you. Here's a list of roles in a record label. You have the president, you have the legal department, you have business affairs, the vice president, you have A&R, promotions, artist development, marketing, publicity department, media department, sales, and the art department. So obviously each department has a role in pushing the artist further down their career. So by signing your music to a, a label, this is the kind of support that you should be getting. So if you're still thinking about starting a record label, you can either do it two ways. You can do it the more serious way, which is sign a bunch of other artists and push them and market them. Or you can be an independent artist who just is looking for more structure and a better way to organize and push out their music. So let's cover both. Hey guys, stick around to the end of this video. I'm gonna show you exactly how to start a rec label and I'm gonna walk you through step by step and it takes less than two minutes. So if you're looking to start a rec label for real, then you need a few things. So first, you need to choose a label name. You don't wanna spend too much time on this. Literally just pick a name and run with it. You can always change the name later on. Then you should immediately go and see if that name is available. If it is available, make sure you go and buy the website domain immediately because you don't want someone stealing that domain name. Also right now you do not need to think about building a fancy website. Most record labels do not have websites at all. Next, you need to pick an online distributor. There's tons and tons of distributors out there. My favorite is DistroKid because it's super easy to use. And the online distributor, what it does is just distributes all your music to all the platform, as you'll see right here. And last, if you really wanna take this seriously, you need to register it as a business. Now you can do this as an LLC or an S Corp or any of those uh, entities, but uh, you would need to register it as a business because as a record label, you're now gonna be able to write off a lot of your expenses because you are managing a bunch of artists. As a side note, I do want to mention that starting a record label and running a record label is not easy. It's not easy finding artists 
and taking them off the ground. Majority of the time, you're not gonna be making money from the artists that you are pushing. So starting a uh, and running a record label and finding artists and uh, building an artist is not gonna be easy. So you need to make sure you're serious and you're committed. Chances are you won't be making your money back in the first year or so, but over time, um, maybe this artist would be a good investment on your part. It could take years for you to make your money back. Although streams is one way to make your money back as a record label, don't rely on it because streams is one of the most hardest ways to actually make a profit from an artist. And on top of that, it's now your responsibility to help the artist grow. So you'd have to be using your marketing energy, your marketing dollars, and uh, your distribution network and platform to help this artist get up. So that's a lot of uh, time and energy and effort on your part. So you gotta make sure you're very, very committed and serious about this. Now for the artists who's just like myself, who just want their music organized and structured and want full control over the distribution of their music, then this is what you need to know. FYI, if you're an independent artist, then you're essentially playing the role of a record label. You now have to do your own marketing, build your own distribution channel, do your own PR, sign and create your own contracts. So there's a lot that you're gonna have to do as an independent artist, but the benefits of being an independent artist is that you get majority of your royalty and you get to keep 100% of your sales. So although you're doing a lot as an artist, um, you do have a lot of benefits. If you wanna learn how to grow your fan base, check out this video right here. It's gonna go over exactly step-by-step step, how to use some tools to get more plays and build a bigger fan base. So another benefit of starting a record label is now you'll be able to sign your own music and sign the music of your friends. And once you sign the music of your friends, you'll be able to dictate uh, what percentage split each person gets. So now you'll be able to make money from your friends. So here's how you start a record label in less than two minutes. All right guys, this is how you start a record label in less than two minutes. So the platform I'm gonna use is DistroKid. I highly recommend DistroKid. They're super easy to use and they're super affordable. Um, one of the biggest benefits is all you do is pay a one-time yearly fee and you can upload as much music as you want. So the plan that you need in order to have a custom label name is the musician plan. So it's $36 a year, you have up to two artists or band names. Now, the way you do it is you go to uploads and then on uploads, this is all the distribution channels that you control. Once you click upload, you're gonna be able to choose what services that you wanna put your music on, what platform you wanna put your music on. You can choose the amount of songs that you're gonna upload you get to choose if it's a previous release or not. You get to choose a band name or the artist name. And you also get to choose a release date. On the musician plan, it allows you to choose when you wanna release your music. So this is where you create a record label. You just change the, the label name in this field. Uh, so you can say label XYZ. And bam, that's it. You just started a label. Now, obviously you'll go through this and you'll fill all of this out. And uh, you also have the option to choose multiple artists. So you can select uh, more artists right here. You can add a singer songwriter. You can choose if it's music and lyric that they contribute to, or if they were just part of the, the song by itself. Now, if you want to manage your releases and manage your teams, you gotta go up to the top bar, you gotta click teams, and then you get to choose what release you want to uh, make a team on. And then you get to add a teammate and choose the percentage that you want to give them. So you can um, uh, add uh, another artist, um, and say you give them 50%. So this means you take on 50% and they take on 50%. You don't have to do anything. Uh, DistroKid handles everything. They go, they collect the royalty and they distribute it evenly to all parties. So you can add as many teammates as you want. And when you enter their email address, it's gonna send them an email 
you get to review the changes and if they are not a member, it automatically sends them an email with a 50% off discount code. So once they sign up and create an account, DistroKid will distribute the royalty evenly throughout all parties or to whatever percentage that you give each person, it distributes that percentage to uh, each party and that's it guys that's really all it takes to start a record label all you have to do is go to the record label field name and you change it and put in whatever your record label name is and from there you're now able to sign as many artists as you want and also sign your own music if you found value from this video don't forget to hit the like button drop a comment below and subscribe to the channel as with everything your success as an independent artist relies heavily on your ability to market yourself, your label, and how big you can grow your distribution list. So if you have not checked out my ebook that goes over the seven secrets of growth, it shows you exactly how to grow any artist and brand. And I'm gonna put the link in the description. So if you have not already, um, go check it out.